Olympic lifts uh, involve two main actions. The first action, which is pretty decently taught, is the actual pull, trying to create height with the barbell so that I can move under and lift it. That's pretty well uh, mastered by most athletes, most coaches. Very rarely somebody can't pull the barbell properly once he's been taught. Uh, the other phase is moving down under the bar. And that's really the key element that separates those who are efficient at the Olympic lifts and those who aren't. We always say that someone who's really good at the Olympic lifts can clean anything they can pull to their navel. And anything they can pull to their lower rib cage, they can snatch if they move efficiently under the barbell. But in most cases, when I work, for example, with CrossFit athletes or even football players, hockey players, we all see the same thing is they create lots of height. They pull, they pull, they pull, but they can't get under the bar. It's either not in the right position or they wait too long to get under. They pull, and when they see the barbell in their eye of sight, then they think, okay, it's high enough, so I'll move under. And they move under the wrong way because I'm pulling, and then I'm still pulling, and I'm here, and I finally go under here, and that leads to that cash position that we often see CrossFit athletes doing. What you need to do is, as soon as I reach my highest position, I want to start moving under right away. Don't wait for the barbell to move. You want to move down while the barbell is still moving up. So that way you can actually beat the barbell down. So the, that's why when I coach the Olympic lift, the first drill we always do, and oftentimes it's still kept as the warm-up drill in our session, is the catch drill, which is the same drill we saw earlier in the jumping series. So you're going to stand up, just go on your toes, and then you're going to move under the, under the bar. Boom. Exactly. Boom. See, notice the first move when she is on her toes is down. She doesn't go up, then jump up and down. The first move is down because when I'm pulling an Olympic cliff, it's not a jump. It's a pull and a jump under, not a jump up. So the, notice, look at the feet. The first move when she's on her toes is moving down, attacking the floor with the feet. Good. Boom. Exactly, exactly. Attacking the floor with the feet. Boom. The noise being made when you do an Olympic lift, it's not stomping the platform, what I call a hockey player clean. A hockey player, when he cleans or snatches, they want to make tons of noise, so they actually stomp down. That sounds great, but actually the body is not even moving up. The noise made is simply the feet readjusting laterally. I'm attacking the floor with my feet, but I'm not stomping. Remember, when your feet are not touching the floor, you can't apply force in the barbell. So you don't want your feet to leave the floor. It's only a fraction of a second while I move sideways. So again, first move is down, on the toes and down. Boom, exactly. Boom, not too wide. Boom, exactly. So there's a Slight readjustment in the width because narrow feet, that's a pulling stance. Wider, it's a squatting stance. Now, I can't go into a proper full squat with my pulling stance. I, I, I can't. So I have to move sideways my feet to be in a good reception position.